Okay, here we are at a loft renovation in Lowell, Massachusetts. And this was an old loft that was an actually an old mill that was converted into loft living space, spaces, uh, work and living spaces. So uh, you saw the before pictures of how it was when it was purchased. And now today we are in the middle of still renovating and as well, what you can see behind me is the kitchen. Uh, that used to be the full wall there with very large appliances in it. The wall has been knocked down and the uh, appliances have been changed. As you can see, I'm going to see if I can flip this. I don't think that I can. However, okay, so let me see if I can show you this here. What you see here is the kitchen now, and I'm gonna walk around here. It's still, everything stayed in the same place as far as the configuration goes. So the wall was taken down. Uh, you can see that it is a half wall now with half a uh, bank of cabinets here, which will be the peninsula for uh, an overhang with some bar stools. And over here, we went with appliance, uh, small apartment size appliances. You can see the refrigerator that has a freezer on top of it and new white cabinets, as well as an apartment size stove, oven and stove. Because it is a one bedroom, little loft, um, all the upper cabinets were taken down here. And also on the opposite side, you can see uh, an apartment size dishwasher has been installed and more lower cabinets, base cabinets. The sink is actually going to be here in this sink base um, as you see it here. And you can, um, what's happening today is there is going to be a countertop installation uh, that is coming, which you'll get to see uh, if they come on time uh, as part of this particular class. Now, when you walked in, when you saw the original video for this space, you walked in the door over here, had a big, huge stainless steel refrigerator and range and upper cabinets, and it was so dark in here. And what's nice about these loft spaces, they are historical mill buildings. And when the developer built this, he really did not enhance any of the beauty and he just put up drywall. So there was really no exposed brick as you would normally see in any of these mills and I've renovated a lot of them down here. So uh, again, when you walked in, you had a living space that was over here, right? And the windows at the top, you can see that little arch. That's how it looks from the outside of the building. And that was all covered with drywall from the ceiling height. And you can see where the ceiling line was, where it came down, it came out so it exposed the full-size windows, it didn't expose the brickwork. That was all covered with drywall. And then the ceiling, you can see the line, and then it dropped back down to an eight-foot ceiling, if you can see that. I hope I'm capturing that there. And across to the kitchen, and with the full wall of the kitchen here, there was no light getting into that kitchen. So as you can see, there was at least four and a half feet of ceiling above. So since this is the fifth floor, what you see is blown in closed cell insulation, which is code. Uh, and I'll tell you a little bit more about this project as we go on here. So uh, what you see now is a one big open space. And we're going to get back to the ceiling. So I did have the contractors take the ceiling down and there's a story to that as well. Now you can see the splinker system um, that was below the eight foot ceiling. Hope you can see that uh, right there. But you just look up above, there are sprinkler heads up above as well. The older sprinkler heads, if you can see them. 
So there was really coverage up above the ceiling also, but you see all these wires coming through and cables coming through, they're going from one unit to the next. So what the developer did when he built this, he cut corners instead of trying to save money, instead of exposing the high ceilings, he took a shortcut and had all the wiring run through to save money um, from rerouting it on product and labor, quite honestly. So the whole idea for this space was to let the light in from the large windows that were here, okay? Because when it is sunny, it's a little overcast today, it is nice and bright in here. Um, what you can see here was, we also got permission um, to take down the wall, which you see was the bedroom, which is kind of staged right now for a little bit of a living area, okay? And it is staged with the bed. We are still under construction, but this is a teaching loft. So I do use this for um, my school and my classes. And what's exciting about today in this segment is that you're going to get to see, um, we're gonna talk about how you template the countertop and go in choosing a stone and then having the actual installation happen. So at this point, um, also, I'm gonna continue on with a little bit about this space here. What you can see is, see this column here? The idea was to expose the original columns that were all encased with drywall. And you'll notice that in, um, in the before video. Okay, now we are going to have to cover these with fire rated material because they are wood, okay? So that means that we are going to do an enclosure. We're going to do a column enclosure in these to still keep them exposed. The idea is to keep it as a one bedroom. And so what you see behind me here where that living space is and you see that bed, this is going to be a wall of glass, um, like French doors. So the light can still come in throughout the whole space. And also where there was originally a, oh, I'm gonna walk you around here, a hallway right here, which you can see the cutoff on the floor of where the, um, hopefully you can see that, okay, where the doorway was here to go into the bedroom. And you can see here on the floor, because we're waiting for um, the flooring people to come and give us an estimate on, um, the idea was to take the gypsum out and expose the original wood floors as well. However, we were told we cannot do that either because of the people that are underneath. This is a commercial building. It's considered a commercial residential building where multi multi-families live. And so you cannot have, um, the wood floor exposed apparently in this particular building. However, they do do it in a lot of the other mills. So it's very interesting to me. There's a lot of politics that go on here with the condo association. And what's also interesting is when you go and you have a project that you want to renovate um, in one of these historic mills and you go to the town and you actually need to pull a permit. So you can see that that has been done over here, we have it up on the window here. You can see that right there. And, um, you know, we were told that the ceiling um, could come down, but we did have to keep the insulation up. So we do have to put a ceiling back up. You can see the exposed beams. Um, there's one running in between the unit there along the wall. And if we go around here, you can see on this side on the ceiling, there's another beam, okay? So the idea was to raise all the wires and put in a ceiling up to the beams and keep this openness here. Um, however, and the building inspector agreed that we could do that and so did the fire marshal with the sprinkler systems because we were oversaturated. However, the condo association said no, that the ceiling has to go back. And um, like I said, it's a political thing. So we are looking into different ceiling um, finishes that we can use and possibly an architectural drop ceiling um, that will give us some character to this old building as well. So that's in progress, um, getting estimates for that also. So this is not a place right now where anyone lives. Um, it is a teaching loft. We are going to use it in our class um, to do some measuring um, and layout 
exercises as well. And what you can see here, the only exposed brick in this unit was this particular wall. And you can see um, where the ceiling line was also. And um, we are trying to keep as much exposure as we can for the architectural details that are in here. And also the brick wall in the on the window wall here, that was also covered with drywall. And I did have the contractors take that down and um, we started to paint it. So everyone, everything in here will be painted white. Um, and we wanted to expose the brick. I mean, this is a historical mill. There's some architectural detail in here that sh really should be exposed. Um, we are trying to do a drop ceiling because we want to keep that arch of the brick along the window wall as well. So we're trying to figure all that out. And all of this piping that's exposed, um, we can't move any of it. So we, if it's still exposed, um, it's gonna be painted. So, um, you know, keeping a lot of this architectural detail. I know it looks very messy in here right now, but you can see that there have been walls taken down. So now it's one big open space. Um, the other thing that has also been done is um, this closet that you see that was here was not here. There was a, um, a piece of Ikea um, cabinet tree. There we go, right behind me that was there as a closet when this was purchased. And what they did was they took those closet doors and they made a closet in the bathroom where there was none. And I did not want that. We wanted to put the drywall back up. So when you see, I'm gonna walk into the bathroom here. So when you see, this is where they had the doors and used the other side of the wall as the closet. Um, so they had more of a storage closet in the bathroom and um, that's being put back into its original um, place. So there would be a closet in the bedroom that can be utilized. Um, now that we get into the bathroom, you can actually see um, behind me, we started renovating this as well. So the condition of this bathroom right now is the new tile floor has been put in, which is a white, Penny tile, so you can see that, a new vanity. So the toilet and sink have stayed in the same place. Um, and so a new vanity, new toilet, um, mirror and light fixture. The electrician does have to come back, so that needs to be put in place. Ceiling we kept. And then we took out the enclosure, the fiberglass enclosure for the um, tub and shower combination. And then this was actually going to be a full walk-in shower. However, because it's a one bedroom and there's probably still a need if it ever gets sold again for a tub, we are rethinking that and putting in a tub combination with tile above it. Um, so it's actually a little bit more modernized. So that's the next step as well. So when you get into a lot of these um, renovations here, it's not just knocking down walls, it's electrical, it's plumbing. Um, the electrician has been in here relocating uh, light fixtures and um, outlets and um, taking down a lot of the extra wires that weren't needed here so we could raise the ceiling up a little bit as well. Um, within here, what you can see is this is the washer dryer area. Okay, there is a stack of a washer dryer with the old floor. And this floor actually had a laminate wood in planks that was taken up and it had the laminate over here that was scraped up. So the plan for the wood um, for the floor is to actually do an epoxy that looks like white marble, white shiny marble. And so this will be a little bit more modernized um, also when it's completely done for rental purposes or continue to use this um, as our School of Interiors um, teaching lab because that's exactly what it is. And we will be doing more exercises here as well. So this is the interim condition of the teaching loft. Uh, as you can see it from a distance here, and you can see where you do walk in to the space. And it's not that big, it's under 700 square feet. So you can see here the kitchen area. 
and where I'm standing up against the windows is the living area. And then you can see the divider where the, on the floor, where the wall was. It was a full wall here for the bedroom. That's where um, double French doors are going here. So it would be all glass. Now it's just set up for a little sitting area for the class. And um, the bed has been set up because when we were doing redesigns with the class, they asked to stage it as a pied de terre apartment in the city. And so that's why um, the bed came from storage and there it is. So anyway, um, we will continue on with um, the granite installation. It's, it's actually quartz that's coming uh, and we're gonna be talking about that as well. And hopefully we will videotape that live um, when that happens as well here.